So one of the questions that I get asked a lot from parents is, you know, what happens once my son or daughter goes to boot camp? You know, they leave on a Sunday, the recruiter takes them down to the MEPS hotel, they stay there for the night, they wake up the next morning, they get on a van or a bus, whatever, they go to boot camp. What happens for the next 13 weeks if you're in the Marine Corps and how do I stay in touch with my, with my son or daughter? So I wanna make this video for the parents out there because I get DMs and comments a lot with parents asking what the process is like, how long you're gonna be gone for, what happens if they get hurt, how do I keep in touch, etc. So I really wanted to bring to your guys' attention this one website specifically that um, unfortunately my mom didn't use when I was in boot camp because I don't think it was around back then or if it was it was in its infancy and the internet was a little bit different then but a lot of parents have mentioned this to me and I've actually seen and been on myself and that's called marineparents.com so it's www.marineparents.com this website is phenomenal well, not only does this allow you to connect with other families and other individuals such as parents and whatnot of kids i say kids as you know sons and daughters who are in boot camp right now it also allows you to keep track of them once they graduate boot camp such as follow them at mct or marine combat training or itb infantry training battalion and their mos school as well and there's even unit pages in the fleet that you can follow and be part of and this is all on facebook by the way these are facebook groups so that you can not you can see you know what battalion and what company and what platoon your son or daughter is in at boot camp right if they're in charlie company platoon for instance 2050 you can join that specific facebook group on facebook and you can actually you know read the comments and and leave posts and see pictures periodically of the recruits going through training and you might see your loved one maybe maybe not you get to you know see other parents out there who are asking questions you can see what training day they're on and what event they're going to be doing for that day it's really cool and it's super interactive and it allows the parents such as yourself to feel more connected to your kids when they're gone so it's like hey i know today is a tuesday it's training day 15 for instance i know my son's going to be at swim qual today so you kind of give it gives yourself it gives you the ability to kind of put yourself in their shoes and imagine what it might be like for them and also real quick if you're not riding your kids when they're in boot camp which i've never met a parent who doesn't but i just have to put this out there you really need to be and this also applies to friends and siblings and whatnot write your loved ones who are in boot camp letters they can't get on social media they can't get on youtube they have no phone they have no they have zero communication with the outside world except for a letter a, a traditional handwritten letter like you pull out a pen and a piece of paper and you write a letter to them asking them how they are. You can send them pictures. You can send them religious material such as a cross or whatever, but just write them a letter because to you, it might not seem like a big deal. Yeah, I'm gonna get a piece of paper, write a letter, whatever, but you're here watching this YouTube video. You're on your phone. You're existing in the real world, whereas they are in boot camp. They are in an isolated area. They have no idea what's going on in the real world except for the letters that they receive and you telling them what's going on, how you're doing, what world events are going on, etc. But what I will say real quick too is that handwritten letters, you can do that and most people do, but there's also an app out there. It's an app slash website and it's called Sandbox. I think it's sand, like S-A-N-D-B-O-X-X. -X. I think it's two X's, okay? If it's not two X's, it's called Sandbox and it allows you to get on your phone or computer and you can actually type up right you can type up a letter you can also attach a picture to it and you can send it and what they do is print out that letter and the picture they send it uh, two-day mail first class mail to the depot so it typically gets there a little bit faster than regular mail and it allow it sends them um, a return envelope and they return stationary. So all I have to do is write on that piece of paper, put it back in the envelope, drop it in the mailbox in their platoon, and it comes right back to you. When I had a bunch of guys um, going to boot camp as their recruiter, I would send them letters through Sandbox all the time. I found that it was much easier. I could track the letter and I could find out when they actually got the letter. Whereas if I sent them a regular stamped envelope in the mail, once it's gone, it's gone. I have no way to track that. Whereas you can track it through the app and when they return it, right, when they write you back, you can track it all the way back to you knowing when it was sent out and knowing when you get that letter back too. So it's just another way um, you can keep in touch with them. It's not free, unfortunately, but the, the prices are super cheap. I think it's cheap enough to where you can do it and you're not going to break the bank. But the whole point is make sure you're writing your loved ones when they're in boot camp. So now getting back on top, graduate boot camp, they come home on that 10 days of boot leave. That's great. Now they go to MCT. 
Marine Combat Training or ITB Infantry Training Battalion. You can follow their company there as well and keep in touch with parents and other individuals too while your son or daughter's away. But what I will say is that when they are an MCT um, or ITB, etc., they're gonna have their phones on them for the most part. So you can actually call them sometimes once when they have them and you can kind of open keep that uh, open line of communication a lot easier. Whereas when they're in boot camp, they're in boot camp. Like there's no you know there's no communication except for handwritten letters or those sandbox letters that i was telling you about and then after mct they have their mos school which again at that point they're in mos school you can talk to them and communicate on, on a daily basis and then once they get to the fleet that's their regular job you can talk to them as much or as little as you want but the biggest part is that these facebook groups are phenomenal i know a lot of parents who have met on facebook and they actually met on graduation day and became great friends with a random you know person they never met before that are still friends today so it just shows the power of social media and the ability for you to keep in touch and track what your kid is doing and see how well they're doing along the way now in boot camp unfortunately from time to time individuals they do get hurt and they do get injured and they do get dropped from training which means that they're going to be at boot camp a lot longer than they anticipated so instead of being there for 13 weeks or three months you know, they can be there for four months, five months, six months, up to a year in some instances, which is absolutely crazy. And it is, it's traumatizing for the recruit or that individual because not only did they get injured, but they're there a hell of a lot longer than they expect it to be. So in those certain circumstances, you will have the ability to go see them in person from time to time. I don't know the specifics, but I do know you will have an opportunity at some point to see them face to face. But if not, depending on how injured they are and how long they are in MRP, which I believe is Marine Rehabilitation Platoon, um, you they will get a weekend phone call so like on a saturday or sunday when they're there they'll be able to call you for i think a few minutes to be able to have that that kind of you know constant communication and then as always you can write them letters and depending on how injured they are sometimes they do get their phones to where they can't communicate with you but there are you know there are criteria that must be met etc so i've had some that were in mrp for an extended period of time who had their phones Right, I have one guy who's there right now that I've been talking to a little bit, um, and I've actually seen him in person. Whereas I've had other guys who were in MRP a few weeks or a month who did not get their phones and who were still susceptible to just writing letters. So it really depends. But the whole point of this was to tell you guys that there's also Facebook groups on Facebook from MarineParents.com that you guys can get on as well and track the status of your kid, meet other parents too who are going through the same thing because you guys aren't alone. You know, it's nice to have the comfort of someone else and to know that, hey, this parent or this loved one or whoever is going through the same thing I'm going through right now and that's my kid being away from me at boot camp for 13 weeks you know going through training or they're injured etc so i just wanted to bring this to light because a lot of parents you guys don't know about these resources and these websites and then, you know uh, as recruiters these are things that we typically go over but sometimes we just forget and it's not intentional but we forget things from time to time but if you didn't know now you know if you have a son or daughter who's in boot camp right now and you didn't know this go on marineparents.com locate their platoon find that facebook group and start interacting and if you have someone who's getting ready to go to boot camp in the near future or at some point in the future once they leave make sure you go on marineparents.com find that facebook group that they're a part of and um you find their platoon company etc and start following them along the way because like i said you might see a picture from time to time it really depends sometimes um comstrat which are the marines whose job is to take videos and edit videos and take pictures etc they'll go around with certain platoons from time to time and they'll take pictures they'll kind of document the process not every platoon gets that but some do so your platoon or the platoon your, your son or daughter's in they might have a cameraman or a woman attached to them and you might get some really cool pictures it's not a guarantee i just put it out there because i've seen some good ones and i've had some parents who have told me they've gotten some really cool pictures um while their loved ones were in boot camp but anyways guys uh i just wanted to put this out there to let you guys know that this is a website this is an opportunity there are other forums there are other groups out there as well and then last thing last thing i'll leave you guys with is if you're unsure if you don't know if you have any questions comments concerns anything yes the social media and those groups are a great resource but if not Talk to your kid's recruiter. Talk to the recruiter because they are gonna be that subject matter ex expert to assist you while your loved one is gone. They can, you know, they can figure out things and find out things that you might not be able to find out online, but ultimately they're gonna be the ones to answer the questions and concerns that you have while they're away. So if anything, if you take anything from this video, leverage your recruiter. They will be able to answer all your questions, and if not, they can sure find it out for you.